happy International Democracy Day. Democracy to me means freedom, peace and prosperity. In short, the best system of governance in the world. I'm glad that on December 9, 10, President Biden hosts his summit for democracy. At that summit, attending governments should arrive with specific commitments for the course of democracy. Our suggestion for such commitments is the Copenhagen Charter for an Alliance of Democracies. It lists three priorities. Firstly, collectively pushing back on authoritarianism and economic Article 5. Secondly, making tech work for democracy, standard setting for emerging tech. And thirdly, standing up for democracy's champions abroad and at home. To counter economic coercion by authoritarian powers, an alliance of democracies should enact an economic Article 5, similar to the NATO Article 5. A democratic state coming under economic attack from an autocracy due to its democratic or human rights stance could ask for unified support, including retaliatory measures of fellow democracies. This would be the answer from the democratic world for dealing with authoritarian powers from a unified position of strength. Secondly, we should make tech work for democracy, including standard setting for emerging tech. Technology has the power to facilitate both democracy and autocratic oppressors. Digital authoritarianism must be countered by a free world model of tech development. Among democratic countries, we can have disagreement on how to regulate uh, tech inside our democracies, but we need to see the bigger picture. Ultimately, when it comes to tech, the free world needs a simple approach. United we win, divided we fail. Thirdly, the Charter demands that we stand up for democracy's champions abroad and at home. The situation in Belarus, Hong Kong, Venezuela, Cuba and Afghanistan all underline the urgency. Demands for more democracy are visible on streets around the world, especially among young people. We must find new means to coordinate penalties against states that brutalize or suppress peaceful protests, from targeted sanctions to financial and tangible support for pro-democracy champions. I was pleased to have fellow democracy leaders Dan Twining from International Republican Institute and uh, Derek Mitchell from National Democratic Institute co-sign the charter with me at the Copenhagen Democracy Summit in May. I challenge you all, what are you doing for democracy? If the charter resonates with you too, then I encourage you to add your name.